Hey guys, it's Bryce Larson. I am going to do a quick comparison. I checked around my uh, table down here and I found some Marbleizer. I found some other Marbleizer and I found some Premium. I only have two Premiums there in the bottom of a 10 round tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, weigh these and then I'm going to check the fill density uh, by cutting them open upstairs. So let's tear this out. Okay. Since I only have two of these, we're going to go two Premiums in there. So I'm going to block this glare. Seven grams, two balls in the container. I know it's not a super accurate way. I'll show you what I'm going to do later. Two of these pink marbs. Six grams. Okay. And two of these white marbs. Six grams. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put 20 of these guys in to get a more accurate uh, measurement. This is a, you know, with the scale like I have here, this is the best way I can get a, a good measurement on uh, the average weight of the balls. 59 grams for 20 balls. <clears throat> Tear that out. And two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 63 grams. All right, we're just going to go chop these open. I don't have a great way of telling uh, viscosity, but we're going to see if we can see the difference between the fill thicknesses or viscosities. All right, so we're at the cutting board, and what I've done is I've stabbed these guys open. So here's the white fill. Let's put some of that out. Okay, kind of a medium fill. Here is this pink coming out of these guys. That's thick and goopy. You can see it actually piles up. So this is a much more viscous fill. It actually sticks and strings to my finger here. So that's a thick fill, or moderately thick. And then I have this guy, which is, well that's possibly the thickest of all. It's sitting up sort of like jelly. See, that's actually really, really goopy. See that? I don't know if you guys, hopefully this is a good enough demonstration. This guy sits almost like a, a jelly. This one's like a um, I don't know, sour cream thickness. And then this white is uh, by far the thinnest. You can see it sort of beating up on the board. It's actually, the surface tension is actually uh, enough to pull it into beads. So uh, let me compare these uh, weight-wise, or uh, density-wise, to viscosity. Here's something else interesting. I uh, quickly ran water over this. While this was the uh, third and most viscous of the paint, it's left, uh, about half of it left. This stuff resisted the water and the white fill is almost complete. Actually, it is completely gone.